not believe it, but after 30 years, Eddie Murphy has made his way back to America as the King of Zamunda. The King now, yeah? He was mm -hmm. just Prince Hakim, and he's back with a new mission and new hairdo. <laughs> Today, we meet the ladies behind his iconic looks. Everybody, this is What's Poppin' at Home. Hello, I am Hakim Jaffer, King of Zamunda. If you have watched Coming to America, then you know that I'm going to be talking on something very, very spectacular. I have two of the hair designers on Coming to America. Joining me today, we have Stacey Morris and Carla Joy Farmer. Good morning, ladies, and aloha. Welcome to Living Age. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Carla, I want to start off with you. I want to get to know a little bit behind your background in the film industry and how you got started. I got started back in the 90s. My first project was How to Be a Player with Bill Bellamy. And that's how I got in the union, if anyone remembers that movie. And then later on, I was on the show Girlfriends. I was the department head of Girlfriends. And that kind of set my um, career off. Awesome. Stacey, same mm -hmm. question. How did you get started in the film industry? I started off back in the day, if you remember that, high iconic flat top on kid and play i started you know cutting him and that led me to doing films because they did house party and eventually it uh snowballed into me meeting bigger and bigger stars and i ended up working with uh, eddie murphy and that's how i got in the union Carla, I'm gonna go back to you because I want to know where did you draw inspiration for the hair because you have a lot of afropunk afrocentric style to it right Yes, that was my biggest motivation. And of course, actual African tribes and just the brilliance of the culture and the things that we don't normally see on film. I wanted to do it for the culture to let people know that we are regal, we're beautiful, and that I wanted this to be a celebration. Now, Stacey, my next question is for you because, fun fact, you are Eddie's personal barber, which means you've worked on films like Norbit, Dreamgirls, Imagine That, and so much more. How was working with Eddie on Coming to America different than other projects? Was it more challenging? Was it easier? To work on this film, it was just like, wow, I'm working on a classic film that's going to be another classic. It was just, and I got to, you know, look at those and see those characters being made uh, from the barbershop, you know, and the fact that, you know, I grew men's hair in that barbershop uh, scene was so big, it was like, wow, like, you know? Now, you guys made the 2020 shortlist on last year's Oscars. I gotta ask you, what was it like to, to be chosen for that? Because did you ever think that this is where you guys would be in your career, to be on the shortlist for the 2020 Oscars? Truthfully, I didn't know anything about the process. I didn't know what a short list was. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when we did Dolomite Is My Name, we did it out of love and we both grew up in the 70s. So we had so much fun. To this date, that was the funnest movie we ever did. So to do that movie and then after it's seen and people are so impressed by the work, we were like, oh my God, this is a win-win. So no, I did not expect it at all. Stacy, now you have actually some kind of behind the scenes, exciting news. Um, Coming to America was actually gonna be filmed where? Originally, we were gonna supposed to film in Hawaii. We were all excited about that. That was a bummer. We went to Atlanta instead. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hopefully your next project will bring you guys to the islands and hopefully you and I and all of us, we can all reconnect. But thank you ladies so much for coming on Living 808. On behalf of everybody here, congratulations and aloha. Thank aloha, you. thank aloha. you. Thank you. Very cool, Mikey boy. That was a great thank story. Um, the fact that it was supposed to be here in Hawaii too is another little a good tidbit. Yeah, we were talking um, off camera after we finished, and they were so excited. Carla and Stacey were saying that they packed all of their, their bathing suits. They were ready. They, were, they got their sunscreen. And then, of course, we all know COVID happened, so they had to stay in cold Atlanta. But, mm -hmm. you know, Atlanta is, you know, beautiful in its own right. So, and the, music, the movie came out great. Yeah. So. Well, thank you for the behind-the-scenes look and uh, talking to some of the people that work with the stars. That was great. Um,